Howdy. Uh, washed the tractor. I tried my hand at this time lapse stuff for the first time, so I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure how that's going to come out, but let me set this like this because I'm not going to lie to you. I had some concerns, pretty big concerns about this PTO shaft being too short for the 2038. And it worked pretty good the other day. Uh, I did pull it all the way apart, took, you know, with some measurements. And I have four, four and a half inches of overlap on the inside, on the shaft. And I know you're supposed to have six, I think it is. That's actually difficult to achieve sometimes on such a short shaft, you know, to still have, to still have the range of motion to pick it all the way up without shoving it into the back of your tractor. So we're gonna roll with four inches. Uh, the other night was kind of an experiment. I had a line drawn on the inside, uh, safety sleeve and that's kind of where we were I was rolling with it and I've done a few more in-depth measurements now so I know I can get it deeper I can get the tiller deeper because we're going to chisel that field again and the next time I'll till it twice because the first time you till on a plow chisel plow mold board whatever you want to do the first, the first time you till that, basically all you're doing is leveling, leveling the soil out. So you give it a second pass, and that's when you can get that tiller, you know, a good six or seven inches in the ground, and give that soil a good, a good turn. So uh, I just wanted to cover that real quick, and like I said, I tried my hand. <laughs> At a time lapse, I've never done a time lapse before. Well, actually, I, I did one by mistake. I never, uh, I never published it because it was nonsense. Uh, I had it on time lapse and didn't realize it. So, anyway, that's where we stand. Uh, I think we're going to chisel that field this afternoon, and then. Of course the rest of the week looks like rain so then I'll have to wait for a couple of dry days to dry it out so I can tell it but we gotta you know kind of get the wheels in motion because <clears throat> our plant window for potatoes is about two weeks away so uh, so that's where we kind of stand for right now uh, I gave the tractor a good wash I know a lot of people bust my chops are up about it around here but to me it's a thirty thousand dollar investment i mean people wash their cars and pickups and nobody says a word about that and this tractor costs more than some of them so uh <clears throat> that's where we stand it's actually well it's warming up now when i first started washing it was actually kind of cold but uh what i did was i went in the house and i got the pail full of hot water you know for my hands so I didn't freeze to death while I was washing it and you know I keep that one wash sponge rag thing and that one chamois uh, I keep those separate those two are for the tractor because you know you're gonna get grease on them and then we have the other ones for washing the vehicles so uh, that's where we're at so far today.
it's always a thrill when you gotta start up half the stuff we own to get to a round bale, but such is life, it's that time of the year we got equipment moving around in here. So be good now though. fed a couple or well, at least one since my last round bale video but I figured you guys don't need to or don't want to watch me feed round bales over and over and over because that's a never ending cycle till well for another uh, probably five or six weeks till the pastures really come up good then we can start turning them loose in there for part of the day so here we go. video.